Speaking of burnout, researchers say less men are working nowadays. The share of prime working age men in the U.S. for the job has dropped from 90% in the 50s to about 86% now. They say there are multiple factors that come into play, from recessions to disabilities, to more men embracing being a stay-at-home dad. They also found a rising rate if men are attending graduate school, while more are either caring for their children or their elderly parents. Overall, some could have early financial success and retire early, but with so many factors at play, there may not be one answer. The fact is, there are less men working now than ever before. Uh, Jamie, we're growing as a society. Is this a normal trend to see? Oh, I hope not. I think it's a bad trend, and we need to work really hard to reverse the trend. That's terrible. All right. Well, Doug, what do you think? Well, it, it, it is a trend. Yes, yeah, started in the 1950s, as you mentioned, and it's been caused by recessions, incarcerations, addiction, uh, lower wages, and as you mentioned, more stay-at-home dads. And other than the stay-at-home dads factor, all of these things leading to lower employment among males are bad things, so it's not a good trend. Okay, and Jamie, you said we have to reverse it immediately. Now, why? Why is this so bad? It's bad because if you find yourself in a situation where you don't have a job that you make as money, much as used to, then maybe it's time that you check yourself before you wreck yourself and get education, learn new skills, learn different things, and, and find something that you can make a living out of. You can't just not work. Okay, but is it safe to say, uh, Doug, that we do have more men staying at home now and, and women are going out and uh, being the breadwinners? That's okay, no? It is okay, and, and and a message to Jamie. I'm not going back to work. Okay, uh, so it is okay, and it's just it is a trend. It's what's happening. Accept it. He's not going back to work, Jamie. No, I'm not. You're stuck with him in the house. I'm sorry.